Prisoners need coys, moving trains need hard labor, even the signs on the road pissed off the old whitey man. That's when the fat cop in the car made a lot of hand gestures, telling everyone to stay put or be shot on the spot. But old whitey couldn't help himself, he stood up and said loudly that he was wrongly accused. The fat man said you don't give me face, old whitey said your face is not even as good as a cobbler. While the two were arguing, the driver kept looking back, but he rolled over a banana peel. The prison car scraped the guardrail and rushed down the hill. It fell straight down the hill, bounced around like a basketball, and finally fell onto the railroad tracks. Old Whitey thought he was blind. Turns out he got his head stuck in a trash can. He found the key and unlocked the shackles. Then a train came hurtling down the tracks. He threw all the people out. In a moment of crisis, he used the tires, played the game of spinning people, managed to avoid the train's impact, but wasn't so lucky when he landed. He almost lost his roots. He looked back and saw the train had derailed and was coming straight for him. He panicked and ran behind a big tree and hid. After a while, there was no movement before he poked his head out. Everything looked normal. The train was poking its head out from the other side. Don't hide. I see you. Old Whitey got scared and ran for his life. He ran halfway and got stuck on the railroad track. He saw the train coming. He thought, it's over. Hey, the train's changing lanes. It's a little joke. Old Whitey laughed out loud. Now <laughs> He hid in a garbage truck, but the road was so bumpy, it knocked his bucket off. The barrel rolled up and down the hill. Old Whitey just got out of his bucket. A black bear knocked him down. He got hungry and ran to the eagle's nest, waiting for its mammoth to feed it. How hard is it to be an outlaw? Even the branches give you no place to hide. Old Whitey fled into a small store. He took some clothes to change into. Just as he was about to leave, suddenly he realized a policeman was coming. As soon as he turned around, there was a wanted notice for Old Whitey on the wall. When no one was looking, he made a big fuss over the wanted notice. I thought I could rest easy this time. But after reading the wanted notice, immediately pointed a gun at him. The police came to the door. They caught a man exactly like the one on the wanted notice. Brother, are you the rescuer sent by the monkey? At that moment, old Whitey came to the crime scene. He remembered that the murderer framed him. At that moment, Sui Hua, the rich man's sister-in-law, appeared. It turned out she was the woman who couldn't get enough of old Whitey. Old Whitey asked her who framed him. Sui Hua says she knows nothing. The inspector comes with two assistants to solve the case. He forgot to pull the handbrake when he parked the car. Old Whitey disguised himself as a weed whacker. He stabbed the flowers. Not only are the flowers gone, the fountain is broken. He looked down and his toe almost fell off. He made a hasty escape. The inspector soon found him. He analyzed that he had escaped through the sewers. So he went into the sewer to chase him. But there were so many doors inside that it was confusing. When old Whitey reached the hole, he was about to fall into the reservoir. Luckily, he kept his balance on his toes. His heart was pounding with fear. At that moment, the inspector came after him. Seeing the situation, old Whitey jumped down into the reservoir. The guy swam out like a fish. He had nowhere to hide, so he came to Tsui Hua's house, trying to hold Tsui Hua hostage. I didn't expect Tsui Hua to kiss him as soon as he entered. Almost gave the old man a heart attack. So, the two came to a critical step. Too bad there was no fire cupping on the back. The detective with his two assistants quickly found Old Whitey's trail. Old Whitey also found some clues at Tsui Hua's house. He realized that Tsui Hua was in league with Julie and the others. At this time, the criminal police brought someone to the door. Old Whitey secretly locked himself in the bathroom. He opened the window and climbed up. Old Whitey jumped from the 10th floor, fell straight into a big iron basket collecting diapers. Then the staff wearing gas masks loaded the basket onto a truck. It was almost smoked to death, but by this time, the car door was closed. A couple hours later, the bus stopped. Old Whitey jumped out the back door. When he looked at his face, he looked like a smurf. Almost got hit while crossing the street. Luckily, everyone in the car was unconscious. When he walked by, people were smelling of his stench. Even the flowers stank. He walked up to the magazine stand. The magazines couldn't take the abuse, set themselves on fire. He looked up and saw the only hospital where he could be fitted with a prosthetic leg. Think of the prosthetic killer who did this to him. I'm sure he would take care of his prosthetics. So he secretly changed into a slaughterhouse white coat. He snuck into the hospital, knocked out a guard in the elevator, took his gun. As soon as he got out of the elevator, he saw another guard right away. He had to carry his gun on his back, but it fell down his pants. He found a deserted place and tried to pull the gun out. He was caught by an old lady. She was looking forward to it, but she was disappointed. <gasps> Next, the old whitey man changed into surgical scrubs. He tries to crawl through a pipe into the hospital's central control room, but he couldn't open the lid. Suddenly, he saw a worker installing glass. He was holding a glass suction cup, so he crept over to him. When he picked up the stunner, realized it was similar to that device. The worker touched the door directly. Old whitey tried to turn it off. 
But he made a mistake, the electricity went straight to the maximum. The man was immediately electrocuted with white smoke. Old Whitey took the instrument, he accidentally sucked on the patient's head. He couldn't pull it out, and he gave it a push and hit the iron plate on the wall. With another push, he pulled the iron plate down again. He stepped on the iron plate with both feet, pulling desperately out. Again he hit the head of the bed. With a lot of effort, he finally pulled the iron plate down. Then he hit the door again. The doctors and nurses were baffled. Thanks too. Old Whiny opened a passage with a glass suction cup. He looks in and climbs in, but the temperature on the meter was 40 degrees below zero. Old Whitey frowns he before he reached the place. Luckily, he found the exit in time, peeled back the wires and took a look. There's an infrared anti-theft system down there. I didn't realize that old Whitey had accidentally fallen down. Luckily, he was blocked by the wires. He spun around on the wires, finally found the switch, and turned off the infrared light. He wanted to access the center computer to check the data, but he needed the account number and password. Old Whitey used the full spelling of the account number and password. Turned on the computer. I don't know who designed this password. Old Whitey wants to investigate the murderer's data, but the printer didn't understand and kept spitting out paper just as the inspector's assistant arrived. As soon as he opened the door, he was buried in a pile of paper. Old Whitey took the opportunity to escape. When he got out, he saw the murderer's car. Old Whitey had an old car too. It was a bouncy old car. He even paid the parking fee by bouncing. Old Whitey followed the car in front of him and had a great time. But when he came to a cornfield, the car disappeared. Get out of the car. He immediately turned into Wu Lauer from next door. Chow Si couldn't dance as well as him. He was still in shock. A small airplane flew straight at him. Old Whitey threw off his short legs and rolled like crazy. But the plane still caught up with him and gave him a haircut. At that moment, a big nine-handed pickup truck appeared. Sui Hua jumped out of the car. In a <laughs> A flash, Sui Hua appeared beside Old Whitey, pulling out a pistol and pointing it at Old Whitey. Julie and Big Brother Killer also came out of the cornfield. Looks like the three of them are really in cahoots. Just when Brother Killer was about to kill Old Whitey, Sui Hua fired first, the scene changes and Old Whitey and Sui Hua meet each other. That's right. Old Whitey is still alive, but Sui Hua's gun is full of blanks. Sui Hua recently found out that her father is the Secretary General of the United Nations. Julie and the others want to use his identity to fulfill their terrorist plans. The next day, the UN Secretary General attended an event. Old Whitey was part of the Honor Guard. The Tiller brother also appeared in the crowd. The Honor Guard started a gun show, but Old Whitey swung his gun around. Killer aimed his gun at the UN Secretary General. The sights of this gun are amazing. It can lock the characters next move in events. At the critical moment, Old Whitey spotted the killer. He immediately shouted danger. The crowd was in an uproar. The killer's rifle was knocked around by the crowd. Old Whitey pounced on the Secretary General. He just stood up. His heart fluttered. Several people took the leader into an all-steel bulletproof car. Bullets are basically useless against this car. Julie grabbed a bazooka and aimed it at the car. Old Whitey rolled down the car window. The missile went through the window and spun. It's headed straight for the killers, but the... car didn't move. Old Whitey gets out of the car and looks. One of the tires was flat. The guy changed the tire in a hail of bullets. Julie's giant rocket launcher. It's about to go off. Whitey doesn't slow down. After he changed the tire, he cleaned the glass. He got Trisha all worked up. Then he gets in the car, starts the engine and hits the gas. Julie's shot was right on target, but it was the safest car ever built. The exterior was blown off, but the people inside are alive and well. Just then, the inspector arrived with a Swashington T team. They immediately shot Julie's men. The Police arrested Julie and the others. Old Whitey also subdued Brother Killer. He successfully exonerated himself of the murder charge. Finally, he brought his goddess Sui Hua to the bow of the cruise ship. He performed the classic scene of Titanic with love, just when they were both so beautiful. When they looked up, stunned, this <laughs> movie, false accusations, made me laugh for a year. I wonder how many times you all laughed after watching it. I'm Modern Movies Drama. Follow me as I take you to a different world of movies.